say, oh no, don't cut the cats, don't scrap it. It's a nice GMC with a smooth running 4.8 with a good transmission. 150,000 miles. Hmm. Let's go around and, uh, ow. Stupid. Let's see what's wrong with it. Well, rocker panels, cab corners. Yeah, not the end of the world. Well, rotted on the top of every wheel well. Not the end of the world. Hmm. Let's see. Shackle? Broken. Rotted. Shock? Ripped right off the cross member. You probably couldn't see it, but take my word for it. Let's see. Rear bumper. Gone. Ah, just throw some flares on it. A couple rockers, a couple corners. We're driving, right? Oh, yeah, I know. I was saying the same thing. Man, this thing runs good. Man. But then, you get underneath, and these main trucks, I'm telling you people, they don't disappoint. They do not disappoint. Yeah, just a rocker panel, no problem. Whoa, what's that? That's the frame. Yeah. Not too bad. Remnants of a some running boards that were rotted off. But then we come underneath. Whoa, baby! <laughs> yeah, that's the frame rail. And uh, you're looking inside of it. There it is. 2002 frame. So, uh, definitely makes you not feel so bad about sending it to the crusher. Yeah, nice 4.8 in there, but you know what? I don't want to pull it out. I'll tell you that. What's going on on the other side? Whoop, cats are gone. Whoa! Yeah, that's uh, that's the frame right after the front wheel. That's pretty uh, critical. That's massive holes. Gone. Too bad. Look at the fuel lines. New fuel lines, new brake lines, some of them. Cross members. Chewy. There you go. Northern Maine. Leave your truck sitting with all the salt and the shit on it. Whoa. That's the inside of the frame. She's gone. 